Well, you might have already noticed the bugs out in your yard. There are pests that are good for your garden, uh, bugs that are good for your garden, and there, there are pests that can really do some damage. Taylor Jones is here with some advice on how to manage both. He's a horticultural agent with the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service who helps us to grow like a pro. Good morning. Good morning. You brought your little friend with you. I did, yes. Yeah, He's not so hissing right now. It's not, no. So this is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Um, and the reason I brought this in today is because I wanted to talk about its actual cousin, the woods cockroach. Um, and so, you know, when we think about insects, we think about pollinators first off, right? Right. Super important for our garden, super important for our environment, but also uh, insects like cockroaches and beetles are really important too because what they do is help break down organic material. Um, and so when things, you know, start to decay and disintegrate, um, insects like roaches, like beetles, will actually break it down and return those nutrients back to the soil, which then you can use in your garden. So you're telling me those water bugs, those, those big, long, brown-looking, cockroach-looky things, I should, I should let sweep them back outside. Yeah, so generally speaking, uh, less than 1% of all insects on the entire planet are considered either beneficial or mm -hmm. neutral. Um, yeah. So really there's less than 1% of insects that are what we deem harmful, um, whether they're you know aggressive or, or causing issues right. with our plants. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, if, if it's safe to do so, absolutely return any insects you find inside or on your porch or patio or, or maybe even by your pool. Um, to, a, to a safe location because they all have a purpose. Let's talk about flying insects. Uh -huh. We're talking bees, wasps, all that stuff. Yep, 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 the yellow stingy things as some people say. Um, but yeah, so generally speaking, all, all of them are serving a purpose. They are pollinators. Um, some are actually uh, predatory wasps, which will go and, um, you know, sort of lay their eggs inside of caterpillars and mm -hmm. things that will that will chew up your uh, plants uh -huh. and then they are actually taking care of those so you know they while they may not be pollinated they may be serving a different purpose in that way like even these right look at yeah. that bald face that's wasp huge yeah 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 that's and those huge. are actually uh, really um, predatory as well um, but they uh, are awesome about getting rid of some of those bad insects in the garden so I'm guessing the, the moral of this story today mm -hmm. is if it's not bothering you, don't kill it. Right, exactly, exactly. So a lot of times insects get bad raps just because they look a certain way, um, but generally speaking, they are all here to serve a purpose, to help our environment, and to help our garden. Well, the hissy fella is being really good this morning for Taylor. Look at him, very, very chill. Thank you. Thank you always you. bring great information. You know, he shares his weekly gardening advice right here on Fox 8 every Thursday morning at 845. Hope you tune in every week. For more on tending to your garden, you need that help, I know I do, visit the Guilford County Cooperative Extension Service website. Lots of answers there, guilfordgardenanswers.org. Or if you can't find it there, you can always pick up the phone and give them a call. It is 336-641-2400. Emily, he really